Hello seekers, Hare Krishna. Welcome to Panis Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Moon will make its move in the sign of Aquarius on 12th of August and from 12th till 14th, Moon will be in Aquarius a zodiac sign. The ruler of Aquarius is considered to be Saturn and you can also say that Rahu is a co-ruler of this zodiac sign. Now considering that these two planets are at vital position with respect to this moon, this transit will have some very imaginative consequences. Let me explain you how. Saturn is a retrograde 12th from the moon. Moon has just come out from Capricorn under direct influence of Saturn. And now this moon has to adjust. So you will see that your mind will slowly adjust with the adverse scenarios and this is a good sign. You will get all the help, support from your family, support from your relatives, support from the friends and necessary information that you need to get out of a very small mindset and your thinking will become broad and you will be in a much better situation to, to take control of your life. Try to understand that for Moon, 2nd and 7th house is extremely crucial. It is the mind, right? So this mind need security and mind builds your perception on the basis of inputs that it gets, especially the inputs through vision. That is why the 7th house from the Moon will have Mercury, that too in the sign of Leo. This can give you more ego. This can make you think like you are a king, you know better than others and this is where you will have to refrain from thinking so or trying to push the agenda or trying to show that you know better than others. Rather, be humble and learn from others' experiences. This is the time to gather the knowledge and that is how you can make this transit positive. On the other hand, there is a retrograde Jupiter second from the moon. This retrograde Jupiter, which is second from the moon, will be responsible to make you rethink about your life's securities. It will bring more auspiciousness in your home, but will also make you think on a lot of different angles. Well, Jupiter is in Uttara Bhadrapada Nakshatra. So this is the time when you need to collect all the information and then think about it. Think what best you can do with your life. This is also the time when you can think of expanding your source of income but also you will have to focus on your responsibilities. Remember, if I see the position of Cancer Zodiac sign with respect to Aquarius, Cancer will be the sixth house, Prarabdha. This means you will have to fulfill your duties before you even expect anything else. It's a good time for scientists, for engineers, for ast astronomers, astrologers, public speakers, someone who is in marketing. You will see that your ad, if you are in advertising, film industry, you will see something positive coming out of this, especially if you are an Aquarius Lagna or Aquarius Moon sign. Otherwise, in general, this is a transit that will make you think more. This is a transit that will make you, you know, discuss few issues with the family, work on the data, read more books collect and gather more information and maybe that will change your mindset because this is a time that will change your mindset. Now, I was talking about Saturn. Now, what about Rahu? This Rahu is third from the moon and when this Rahu is third from the moon, this definitely gives you a feeling of meeting an old friend, getting out of the house and hang out with people, you know, have a seminar or build a circle, which is good. Just be careful that you should not blindly trust anything and rather apply your basic common sense while taking decisions. Rahu is in the third house and Saturn is in the twelfth house of this moon. So people may try to move out to a foreign country, people moving or applying for visa, applying for say scholarships, trying to you know think, trying to plan about moving into a foreign country, different city, different region in India. We'll definitely see that their plans will get all the necessary information. I'm not saying that whether it will work out or not, but the right amount of information will come to you. You will have to filter the basic information and you will have to filter your life in a way that what is basic and what is extra, what is luxury. 
because if you observe while this moon is in Aquarius there is there are a couple of planets that is in the sign of Cancer and out of this Venus will play the most vital role why because this Venus is not only sixth from the moon but Venus also rules fourth house from Aquarius if you go four places away you will reach Taurus zodiac sign so when Taurus which is the Lord of fourth house and remember fourth house is natural house of the moon it is the comfort of your mind when that goes into sixth house along with Sun which is about the about to cross the boundary from Ashlesha to Magha remember your relief will only come in addressing the pain areas however difficult it may seem in the next couple of days the situation may be challenging but you will have no option but to face the music and when you will do that you will actually be comfortable it is just like if you get a cut you put an antiseptic lotion on that for that moment it burns badly but don't, doesn't it save you from septic infections it is a momentary burn but later it gives you the long-term comfort so think about the long-term consequences of action and your decisions rather than thinking immediate relief now because there are two retrograde planets in second and twelfth from the moon and moon will be under still under the effect of Sadesati of the Sun Saturn then definitely this position of moon will give you a lot of ideas lot of plus and minus now people with dynamic energies associated with their chart like Mrikshira moon, moon Ketu, moon Rahu may see that their thoughts are all over the place so you need to meditate you need to focus you need to maybe rely on on a, on a other person like your know, partner your family so that you are on track if you have an afflicted moon then don't try to take any decision because see this moon is an air zodiac sign when this happens this may increase disease tension can create gastrointestinal disturbances the water balance in the body can you know can can go for a toss acidity can increase and this can give you irritating mindset irritation and frustration and you need to find the root cause the best thing to do is to pray to Lord Shiva just say Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya and this will give you much needed relief in the mind and this will also help you focus more because the problem is Aquarius makes you a thinker deep thinker but sometimes you can also think negative you may take the references from the past and you will try to change the future don't do that every day in the present and in the future is a new day it will be a new experience past experiences may not come handy be open and be ready to change be flexible and you will see that everything will be fine and for most of the people it will be actually a very good transit just drop your ego and embrace with love all the changes moon has to offer thank you for watching this video we'll meet you in the next video till then namaste